Welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. So this is some interesting gear combinations that I would like to explore. I once tried some audio notes, silver RCA cables and XLR cable on these monoblocks and it really was interesting because it was the first time where I felt that we kind of half got access to a, a hidden sound that they could do and uh, I, I would like to explore that again by using this combination of gear so let me just show you guys this you can always just pause it and look at the text but I would like to pair it with an Aquaface CD player I feel that it would give a bit more of naturalness a bit more of warmness a bit more exoticness I feel that the Macintosh Dreamers and DAX and CDP, they are a bit mm, a bit deadish, even though they have a very good matching sound. I would like to hear Aquaface with this stuff. I feel that we could kind of pep up the sound, make it better than uh, the normal. And it could be like an old school good value CD player, perhaps like this one, or maybe a newer one. And then I would really like to have something like the Hollow May DAC, the top one, or an Audio Note 2.1 signature DAC on that system. And then, just for shits and giggles, try the new top uh, Pro Act just to see how that sounds, or um, some like a completely different <laughs> religion of sound. Uh, this here, the the War Fidelity. Um, it interests me that that sound uh, I got to hear the old version and it sounded like there was a lot of good potential there uh, it could also be a completely different other speaker speaker isn't so relevant no no speaker isn't so relevant I just like all of these units together where this thing is driving it, it just uh, I've been bugging me for such a long time I just wanted to hear like how the hell is the Audio Note M3 preamp going to sound on the Macintosh? I know it's a completely different religion of sound, but I felt that when I listened to Macintosh Monoblock so many times that the liability was the Macintosh preamp, even though you kind of need it to get the Macintosh sound with, with the power amp. So it's kind of uh, frustrating, you know? It never got to really experience this thing here and of course i would do this with the cables which would make it a lot easier to access the detail but it's just that feeling of audio note silver speaker cable which is a very very deep natural warm sound i would like to hear that with more macintosh gear um i got to hear it on some integrated Macintosh it really improved the sound by a lot like a lot and I got it to, to hear it shortly just with the RCA and XLR plug just that one cable uh, again I could just hear that it was opening up a completely different world that Macintosh users never exposed themselves to so I just thought that oh if I could just get those plugs these cables those units you know i think that that would be really really interesting so another thing that's also really interesting that i would like to try fenderstein 2ce speakers they're heavy to drive speakers i get it but i would like to try them in a very small room that is about 20 uh, square meters perhaps a tiny bit more um and then aquaface cd player again aquaface sounds pretty damn good with fenderstein and and, and yba here because then we have a, like a YBA passion perhaps with a built-in DAC would also be really good killer combination because I've heard YBA stuff with Fenderstein 1CI and 2CE and it's just really good really really good nobody talks about that in the hi-fi space and I'm just like oh frustrated you know also people with Macintosh systems YBA CD player great idea or sometimes like a YBA preamp on um, Macintosh power amp really really interesting really interesting and then I would try to have this here something like this um, I think it's 845 triode amps and it's probably like I don't know 16 watts but it's Jadis Jadis also 
is is very interesting and and the thing is like i've written here ypa aquaface ear jadis macintosh you can make a lot of really good exotic um combinations i did try some few combinations and i could really hear that wow this brand needs this type of sound and this other brand needs a bit of that type of sound and i just think that even though this is triode amp and it's on a uh, really heavy to drive speaker i think that combining it with that preamp and having those hard walls and like i've written here with those short cables here i think that it would actually sound pretty damn good i never tried it never tried it but my experience having done all, all the stuff that i've done i have a feeling that this would actually be really interesting, really unique. And, and just because nobody's really done it before, you know, um, perhaps you know someone who, who's done that. And, and I think that especially because when you've got, I'm, I'm, I'm making another video about this, but when you've got triode power amps, it kind of paves the way for stuff that isn't necessarily really good being used as a preamp you know a lot of people don't think about this but it kind of forgives the system a bit so so you can get away with some stuff like you know putting a preamp that isn't really that good and that is a big problem that we have in the hi-fi space so that would be really interesting exploring this uh this this type of sound that i've described here so yeah I would like to try these things that I've written about in uh, this video and especially this M3 with uh, speakers are not really that important but um, with the um, the audio note or the holo the uh, DAC here Aquaface and then on these um, mono blocks here I feel that there was something hidden here which no people will will get close to and i would really like to try this this combination you know also with this these plugs here these are some pretty daring hard to work with plugs but i did hear them with the macintosh uh things here on some pretty decent cables and there was a certain type of quality with the sound that you usually don't associate with macintosh so Really interesting, really interesting stuff that I would personally like to try. Maybe you've tried some of these combinations, you know, um, or maybe it's something that could perhaps inspire you. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I felt that I did make a, a review of these power amps and there was something hidden there. I could definitely hear it but most people are not going to zoom in on that sound and i feel that this is a way of making that possible so i hope you guys enjoyed it like and subscribe if you can bye